Hi guys. For once, I'm not down in the shop. I'm actually upstairs. Um, I'm actually going to do another mini project today. I've been doing a lot of those lately, uh, mostly because I'm working in the garden. So when I'm done every day in the garden, I try to come in and get at least one thing done inside the house. Um, today, I'm gonna talk about uh, storage, uh, just efficient storage uh, in, inside the house. Like everyone is uh, low on shelf space. Um, I know we have quite a few shelves here compared to our old place, but it doesn't take long to fill them up. And there's all kinds of good storage ideas online. Um, there's better ones than these. I just figured I'd show a few that I'm, I do around here uh, in case you guys want to do something like it. Um, and that's going to be one of the projects I'm doing today is um, storage for mason jars. So just a few I've done in the past. If we look down here, I've got um, pot lids on the inside of the cupboard door here. And I just use screws to put those in there. There's probably something nicer I could do, but it does the job and it's hidden. Um, but that keeps them quite accessible and organized. If we look down here, we've got cutting boards just hung on a screw inside there too. So that keeps those out of the way, easily accessible. Now we've got uh, you know, glass containers, like food storage containers. Um, you know, people always struggle with the lids on these. What we did was put uh, these little file folder containers uh, just on the inside of the doors. So we have like the large lids there. We have medium lids here. And of course, small lids here. And that keeps those nice and neat. That helps a lot. And if I get down here, I have this little rack that I made for my baking pans just to keep those organized. So that's at the back there. So these are some of the things that I've done in the past to help organize. And now that brings us to today's project. If we go in here, uh, mason jars, I don't really have a spot for those. And if you saw my video before uh, making iced coffee, um, this is what we use for making iced coffee. So we keep the classical lids, mason jars right here. But I, I really don't like this. Uh, it kind of takes up the, some of the food storage space and it's always behind things. And I hate reaching for them. So I have this gap here between the shelf and the wall or of the door. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is making um, just a, a little rack from here down to screw the mason jars in and then a little area at the bottom to hold the lids. Now these have been done millions of times in the past with mason jars, you know, people put nails and buttons and different things in them and they have little racks where they screw in. So it's gonna be the same idea. So I'm not reinventing the wheel but this is going to be used to store them empty and clean. So when we need them for um, iced coffee, they'll be ready to go. So I'm going to head downstairs now and uh, start on that project. Okay, I'm back down in the shop and I've got a piece of plywood here. This is what I'm going to use for this uh, holder. And I've got six lids because I think six jars should be more than enough for how many iced coffees we're going to have on the go. I'm just going to lay these out to get an idea of how long it needs to be. So that's six there. Mark here. Now all the lids are going to fit a little slot down here. So they're going to be about that tall. So make another mark here. Alright, so I've got some rough dimensions there. So I'm going to down on the bandsaw. Okay, so I've got that trimmed now. And I'm going to focus on the part at the bottom that's going to hold the lids. So I'm thinking of taking this 2x4 and I'm going to mount that like that and I'm going to route out inside here so that it, it leaves a slot for the caps to slide in but then they won't fall out from the front and I'll put another piece of plywood at the bottom or something so I'm gonna grab the uh, rotor and try to take as much material off of this as I can. Okay, so I've got my two parts made here. Now I'm going to attach them to the, uh, the whole wooden thing. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm just going to cut out a little piece for the bottom of the uh, lid holder. Okay, now with the piece cut, I'm just going to glue it in place. That should be enough to hold it. Now while I'm waiting for that glue to dry, I'm going to start screwing on these lids. Okay, so it's about done. I've got the base on. Everything looks all right to me. So now I'm going to uh, paint it to match the cupboards and I'll let that dry overnight and install it tomorrow. Okay, so that is now dry. I've got a few spots to touch up. I think it turned out pretty good. So now I'm going to attach it to the uh, cupboard door. Okay, so that's installed. Uh, sorry the, the video rotated there. I broke my camera mount this week, so I'm just using a cheap one from Dollar Store until I get my new one in. Um, so now this is up. I got a few spots to touch up the paint. I may even paint the insides of this because I don't like the look of it. So let's give it a try. This guy screws right in there. The lids just fit in here. Okay, so I'm gonna round up a few more jars and lids and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just touched up the paint in a couple of spots and painted over those screw heads so they match. I grabbed a couple more lids. Fill this up, I'm just being careful because the paint's still wet in some spots. I'm trying not to get it on my fingers. So lids are fitting in there. Got a few more jars that were in the dishwasher. There. Okay, so that's full. So that's my mason jar storage. I think that'll work out great for us. Now this stuff is not uh, very fancy. It may not be everyone's taste, but uh, it'll do the job for us. I think that's quite, quite good. Now if you've done something like this in the past, I'd like to hear about it and maybe see pictures of it. You can join my Facebook page if you haven't already. Just search Not Handsome But Handy on Facebook and sign up there. You can post pictures. I'd like to see what you guys are doing. If you enjoy watching my projects and you've watched this video the whole way through, you might as well hit the thumbs up button. I'd much appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. Um, every subscriber helps. Um, and as usual, thanks for watching this video.